Semicircular grooves of radius R have been milled as shown in the sides of the steel member. Using an allowable stress of 8 KSI, what is the largest bending moment M that can be applied to the member when A, the radius is 3 eighths of an inch, and B, the radius is 3 fourths of an inch? This is the third example for the torsion and bending stress concentrations main video. The links to the other examples in that main video are in the description below. We know that the maximum normal bending stress will occur when the moment is maximum and it will happen at the stress concentration. We also know that this maximum stress should not exceed the maximum allowable stress. Therefore, the maximum moment can be found if we find the distance from the neutral axis to where the maximum tensile stress is found. Since we're comparing this stress to a positive value of the maximum allowable stress, the second moment of area I, and the stress concentration factor K. For question A, the cross-section area at the grooves will have a base of 3 fourths of an inch and a height of 4.5 minus 2 radii of 3 eighths of an inch. The R over D ratio will be 0 0.1 and the capital D over lowercase d ratio will be 1.2. Looking at the stress concentration factor chart for a flat bar with grooves under bending, we see that for an x-axis value of 0 0.1 and a d over d curve of 1.2, the k value is slightly below 2.1. Repeating these processes for question b, we would have a cross-section area with a height of 3 inches and therefore an r over d ratio of 0 0.25, a d over d ratio of 1.5, and again, by looking at the chart with a 0.25 in the x-axis and a 1.5 d over d curve, we'd see a k value slightly higher than 1.6. Substituting the values for the allowable stress, the second moment of area, the stress concentration factor k, and that negative distance from the neutral axis to the location of the maximum tensile stress, we find the maximum value that the moment can take for a 3 eighths of an inch radius groove and for a 3 quarters of an inch radius groove. The links to the other bending and torsion stress concentration examples, as well as the other topics of the Mechanics of Materials course, are found in this video's description. Thanks for watching.